Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. Today I'm going to show you how to modify the metadata display on a print template. Now, this is a template that displays 25 images uh, on a letter size uh, sheet and it uh, is designed to print to a file. And uh, currently I've got uh, a fair amount of metadata displayed here. Uh, actually, you can't see it all right now because of a bug in Lightroom. So if I click stroke border, I don't actually want that stroke around it. So I'm going to click it again. But now it is displaying all of the metadata that I've got it set to display. And I want to add some to this. And I'm going to change a little bit that's already there. So uh, to do that, I'm going to scroll down on the right side to the page tab. Did I go past it? Yes. And in the page tab, the uh, photo info, and I'm going to click on my uh, preset that I've got defined in there, and I'm going to click down at the bottom layer on edit. And that brings up the dialog that shows what I've got in here. And what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to change a few things. Um, instead of doing exposure at ISO speed rating, I've decided I like what it looks like better if I just do a comma there. And I'm going to just do a comma here. And I've got this going into another line, so I'm going to push that back there, make sure I have a space in there after the comma. I'm going to put a comma between all of these. And then after exposure program, I'm going to put a comma and a space, and I'm going to insert the date there. So uh, go to the numbering section here, and if it's not already displayed, click on here and make sure that uh, I'm going to use month, day, day, year, year, and so just click on insert on that and make sure that it goes where you want it. In this case, I want it to be after exposure program. And then I'm going to put a space after that, and then I've got another line down here that says caption, and I'm going to leave that just the way it is. So now what I've configured this to do is to have uh, the exposure, comma, space, ISO speed rating, comma, space, focal length, comma, space, a file name extension. I uh, don't think I have a comma space there. So, comma space, and uh, then exposure program, comma space, date, and then uh, a space after date, and then on a new line, the caption. And so that's what I want to do. And I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to save this as a different preset. So if I wanted to save this under the same preset, I could click update preset. AIP exposure data, but I'm going to create a new one. And so save current uh, settings as new preset, and I'm going to call this, um, it's for the course PH123, um, and um, with date. And I'm going to create that. And now I am done. And so now you can see it's PH123 with date, but I have one more thing I have to do here, which is I need to update my um, my template with that that new information. So I go to here. This is my uh, AIP PH123 25 up template. So I'm going to right click on that and click update with current settings. And notice when I do that, of course, it drops down to only one line here. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to do. So actually. I want to change this, the font size, because uh, with all of that amount of information, uh, this eight point font is really too big. So I'm going to change it to six points and, um, and then update with current information. Uh, 25 up, update with current settings. And now, of course, if I wanted to print this, I would need to do this stroke border routine. And remember, if you have more than one page, you need to go to the second, to additional pages and do the same thing before you print. And now it's ready to print. And that's how you do that. I hope that was useful to you.